all FPS games suffer from the same problem. It's time to change. Why do we tire so easily of our favorite FPS games? I truly loved Apex Legends, but I've never loved a game so much and got burnt out so fast while playing it. And as someone who wants to avoid this issue in my own FPS game I'm trying to develop, I needed to figure out why this was the case in so many FPS games these days. Which brings us to the question at hand, what tires us of a game we enjoy so much? Hmm. To answer that, we have to answer the question, what drives us to play? These are good questions. Play the game. It's not because we enjoy raging at the screen, that's for sure. It's to escape from reality. But simply yep. escaping from reality can feel like a waste of time, which is why we need rewards and achievement to drive us and justify our time spent on a game. When you play a single story game, you are driven by the idea of the reward at the end, finishing the game. But once you achieve that, it can be difficult. Not really. Like, a single player game? You're just playing to enjoy the story. It's not because I want to finish the game. I'm playing to enjoy the story and enjoy all the, the side stuff. You know, a lot of people think the side stuff is the side stuff, you know? It's not like a side company made the side quests or anything like that. It's like the same company made the side quests. You know, you're not in a, you're not in a race to, to finish a single player game. The side quest content is still made with the same, you know, Putzba is like the main quest of a game. Difficult to play through it again now that you've already gotten the reward, unless the ending was just so damn good, you couldn't help but play it one or two more times. Or maybe if you're an achievement whore and just want to, you know, do it all. But it's pretty yeah. rare to play one game 20 times through when you could play something else with a different and new reward to achieve. Yeah, unless that game has like other rewards, like, you know, New Game Plus or Do It Again on a harder difficulty. You know, things like this. Now, of course, playing with friends and enjoying mechanics are a big part of why we play a game. Totally realistic FPS players. That is actually the truth. Um, you know, 100% real. Except they're missing a beanbag. And they're not showing the, like, 70-inch TV that they're looking at. Game too, but rewards tie into that as well. The better you are, the more rewards you receive to show off to your friends and other players. And some of you, yep, the flex. You gotta get all the rewards to flex on not only your friends, but to the other people that can see your tag, your little banner, your your whatever, your character. The flex drives a lot of people into like playing their game. You may say that you don't care about rewards or showing off and to that i'd say if you don't care about those things then what is the reason you check your kd it's yeah that is true very true because you want to see yourself improve and seeing your kd go up is a reward in itself which just goes to show that rewards and social proof can come in many forms but really there are only two types of rewards when it comes to gaming first is passive fomo rewards and second is player achievements Okay. The FOMO awards rewards are actually just stupid. All right. Since he's using Apex as an example, I'll use Apex as an example. Uh, Apex is a free to play game and the fear of missing out rewards include things like a battle pass, a store, that includes limited time deals that are not actually limited time. It's just fake um, sale on skins, uh, sales on guns, uh, gun skins, charms, stuff like that. Emotes, stickers now, apparently. Um, I'm not afraid to say that I was... I played heavily into this. I spent a lot of money on Apex that I don't want to say, <laughs> but I was a victim of this and I got got, and I'm not afraid to say that I got got. All right. This should, this drives, uh, like casual players. This drives like more hardcore players. So player achievements. So I'll use Apex as an example. Um, the main player achievements will be things like 
uh, a 20 bomb badge. However, you can, you can like quote unquote get boosted for it or buy it or, or whatever. A 4k damage badge, you know, you can still like just buy this, you know, or whatever, or cheat your way to it or whatever. But still, you know, in a, in a vacuum or like getting a mass, get to getting to a master's badge, getting a predator badge in a vacuum, you know, with, without all that extra, oh, this guy's cheating, this guy's boosting, blah, 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 in a vacuum. This should be what drives players. A great example of a FOMO or fear of missing out passive reward is the leveling badges you get while playing the game. If you don't play, mm -hmm. there is the fear of falling behind. Yep. When you play daily rewards, weekly rewards, monthly rewards, all those things. You are rewarded with an artificial sticker that tells you what level you are. Another example is the battle pass. Yep. Sadly, we've been trained to accept and treat the battle pass as our reward for playing, which is yep. ironic considering that we have to pay for it. But after purchasing it, you now have the fear of wasting your money and missing out on the rewards. So, yep, because once X amount of months go by and you bought that battle pass, but the next battle pass rolls out, you can't go back. To finish that battle pass you just lost your money you bought a product that you can no longer use but the more you play you just passively get advancement within it to unlock mid rewards that don't really feel special at all since everyone will get it eventually anyways this is how most fps games operate as a whole these days and this is our reward for playing unranked games mm -hmm. then there are player achievements for example the main thing like the battle pass isn't really an issue because it's it's just cosmetics you know the issue there would be more of an issue if there was some sort of pay to win aspect to a battle pass you know like directly getting an item from a battle pass would increase your player's power in some way but for the most part a battle pass at least in apex um it's just cosmetics i mean you could make an argument that like some older battle passes had pay to win skins for guns but like still in Apex, getting 20 kills in a round gives you another virtual sticker. Ranked rewards are another example of this. Again, yep. usually you only get another virtual sticker, maybe a charm that no one will ever see except for you. I never put a charm on my gun. I never put a sticker on like the bats or something because I didn't know how and I didn't care. And also, I don't think I ever put an emote on my little emote thing when I played because I didn't care. I literally just did not care. Now, maybe that's because I'm like older and I don't care about that dumb shit. But, you know, maybe for like, maybe I'm not the target audience. Maybe like for like the tippy top tier, you know, of players, competitive players. They like all that shit, you know? They kill a dude, they get on their box, they just emote on the box and they're like, yeah, dude, I just shit on you. Maybe they like that. I don't know. And in Apex, you are lucky enough to get a recycled dive trail. Yay. Oh, and a hollow spray that no one gives a shit about. The yep. best part of- I forgot about the hollow spray. <laughs> yeah. And the hollow sprays. I never used a hollow spray either. Out this though is that every season the rewards are the same maybe a few differences in pixels but that's about it i'd like to remind you that these top ranked badges and whatnot were probably made in photoshop each season copy and pasted then adjusted with a few tweaks to make it a little bit different you yeah. become one of the top players in your region spending hundreds of hours playing to achieve that mastering all these different mechanics and play styles so they can give you an artificial sticker that was copied and pasted in photoshop if they even changed it at all how sad is that yet for some reason everyone accepts this in the oh. fps world now apex is a little better in this regard as you get recycled dive trails that they take away from you and hollow sprays that no one gives a shit about but the concept i never used a dive trail either <laughs> i got to like i never got to master but i got to diamond a bunch of times never used the, the dive trail
concept is the same. Hard work and dedication for trash, repetitive rewards. Now, I want to show you why this shit is unacceptable and how much these companies are taking advantage of you. But to really understand, we have to look at a different genre of games, massive multiplayer online RPGs or oh. MMOs. MMORPGs are a game where you are in a virtual world with tons of other players coexisting in that world, working together and solo to reach their own achievements and obtain their own unique rewards for doing so. Now, the wonderful thing about MMOs is that one minute you could be trying to reach the top rank in PvP, the next you could be trying to catch your new pet, then doing a five man dungeon with your friends, later on doing a 40 man raid on a boss. Now, every single one of these activities, and there's more of them, this is not all of it, but every single one of them has some sort of reward behind it. Achievements, titles, special mounts, new pets, yeah. the reward of performance based on theory crafting new talent builds. But most important of all, skins. In the FPS world, we pay for our skins. In the MMO world, yeah, I like how he uses FPSs and MMOs to contrast the different like pay models because the main difference between these is FPS is like player skill. Like, no, 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 no. I was going to say player skill driven. Like there's no skill in MMOs, but no, that's not really true. I don't know. I think. Isn't wouldn't FPSs be like it takes more mechanical skill to like hold or at least oh no that's not no because no because I'm going from a, a mouse and keyboard standpoint on FPS but not every FPS is mouse and keyboard there's actually way more controller uh, FPSs than mouse and keyboard FPSs so not even that and MMOs are mostly M and K. Save a couple here or there. So this is good. I want to hear this. Well, they not only can earn their skins, they can customize them using these gloves mm -hmm. with these boots, this helmet and that chest piece. And you can earn different skins and different Transmog. pieces of those skins from doing different activities. For example, the red variant would be from reaching the top rank in arenas. The black variant would be from doing raids. And the higher the difficulty, the more crypt the model tends to get. And when you wear it, you can show it off to hundreds of players while sitting and talking with people in the main city. Even if you didn't achieve anything amazing, often if you put together something cool and unique with your custom skin that you made, people notice and will compliment you on your creativity. Now compare that to our virtual sticker. Do you see the difference in a game? Oh, this guy is just so mad that Apex has shit cosmetics and rewards. <laughs> True though, it's not for nothing. Like World of Warcraft, there is always something to work towards. Even if you get sick of your favorite mode, you can do something else and still get a shitload of legit rewards for doing it. Now, obviously, FPS and free to play games in general can't just take away skins. That's how they make money. And at the end of the day, they are a business. But you know what? That doesn't mean they can't add specific skins as rewards for your achievements. And no, I'm not talking about shit recolors. A new skin every season for each rank. You reach plat this season, you get the new platinum skin you reach diamond you get the new diamond skin you reach predator then you get the new predator yeah. pope skin for the season is this whole video <laughs> like a selling point on why apex should do less recolors and more actual different skins <laughs> oh man i think it is <laughs> it's okay though it's okay Zen. No. Instead, we play the same repetitive modes with the same repetitive virtual stickers as rewards, which you heartily get to show off in matches anyway, and just let them shove these battle passes that we have to pay for as our rewards down our throats. Does this hold true for other FPSs? So is Call of Duty the same way where it's just recolors or does Call of Duty actually have good skins? Much the same with Halo or Valorant or CS. I'm not sure, but it's something interesting. 
it. You see, the gameplay loop is what FPS games rely on to keep you playing because they don't want to reward you for your effort and for playing the game. No, they want you to spend money. And honestly, they do a really good job of achieving this. But eventually, you can only handle the same repetitive modes and rewards so much, which leads to you or I just eventually giving up on the game we love to play or yep. settling with it and just continuing to contemplate why we hate the game so much, but you can't stop playing it. And this is on top of the last. It's easy. Just stop. <laughs> just stop playing, man of updates and changes that for some reason you know game developers just don't make or take forever to implement this is something i really want to avoid when it comes to my game i'm trying to create and i think well there's your first problem you're playing m and k on apex that's why you're so sick of playing it dude there's your problem right there you plug in a controller you're big chilling you know you too can be a predator if you just plug in a controller all right get your ego aside Oh, this is back in the when the, the wingman was heavy ammo. Ooh. All right, put your ego aside and just plug in the roller. All right? Just just do it. You'll enjoy the game way more. I think I have some really interesting ideas, but until I'm ready to tell you about it, I first need to figure out if I want to make this game first person or third person. If you want to hear my thoughts on that, click this video here. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good video, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I really think FPSs or FPSs like need to get like better player rewards, except player rewards are only going to be obtainable by like the like, you know, on like a bell curve of like skill. Player rewards are only going to be like going to like maybe the mid tier to like upper tier of players you know it's not a great carrot on a stick for like a new player you know it's it's a better carrot on a stick for like i don't know upper tier players people that have more time invested in these types of games yeah this is so on point uh the fomo the push 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 just for some lame sticker etc yeah uh, I don't think people play games just for eccentric reward uh, the game gives you. Yeah, true. Uh, mo uh, the most important thing is that the game is fundamentally fun and rewarding intrinsically. Uh, fun and rewarding intrinsically. Uh, well, I, I, I can buy that. Yeah, I mean, the gameplay is really what matters in any game. If the gameplay is good, then that... that enough should be that should be enough to like want you to keep going and play the game and get better at the game by having like fun and interesting engaging gameplay um interesting topic you don't hear a lot of people making this type of content stay on the grind yep definitely man uh the trick i use to avoid fomo about the battle pass is i only buy it if if or once i have fully completed it uh, that way I never lose any money, but I also do not want to have to force myself to finish it. The only drawback is it takes longer to complete it in that way because you don't get any of the XP bonuses. True. Um, uh, if you were going to play it anyway, then, you know, you might as well buy it. For the most part. Uh, some people make first uh, FPSs to avoid animating. But enemies are so animated and so and so so skipping animation development is basically impossible. But first person shooters are definitely very satisfying and better with scopes where third person is usually a more Rambo hip fire game. Uh sure. I mean, overall, I think this is a pretty good video. Definitely, definitely worth a watch. Alright, so that's about it. Later.